Yeah? yeah. Ready? <laughs> Aspi, welcome to Abu Dhabi. How's it been for you so far? Yeah, really well. I think it was a, a short uh, journey uh, to come here and of course we are very pleased to be part uh, of this tournament and uh, trying to recover as quick as possible uh, to be ready for, for Wednesday's game. It's been a crazy last 24 hours after a nice winter break. Did that break come at a good time for you? Well, I think uh, it was needed. Uh, we had a very busy schedule uh, uh, during uh, especially December and, and January, so uh, we needed a bit of break. We had two weeks uh, without game. Uh, then we, we played uh, in the FA Cup against Plymouth and, and now we are here and we know that uh, things go really quick and uh, we are fully focused on, on, on the first game. Here we are in Abu Dhabi, start of the year in five competitions. It's not a bad place to be, is it? No, no, and we have to realise how difficult it is to, to be in this kind of tournament. Uh, you need to qualify uh, in the Premier League to play the Champions League, then the Champions League you have to go all the way and win it, which we know is not, uh, is not easy. And then we are here uh, playing against teams from uh, every continent in, in the world and every, every team with uh, our own style, uh, different uh, culture of football. So we know that is very important. Of course, uh, it was part of uh, the 2012 and it hurt a lot. And hopefully this time, we, this time we can make it. I was going to ask you about that because obviously you've had the experience of the competition before. With that in mind, does that give you extra impetus, extra motivation this week? Yeah, it does because uh, maybe at that time it was my first season. Uh, of course, I was not coming from winning the Champions League, but we had a lot of uh, a lot of uh, competition, so it looked more normal than than it was. You know, you realize how difficult it is after 10 years to be to be back here. That it took 10 years to to be back, and we have the chance to be the the, the, the first ones to to win it uh, for Chelsea, and we have to create our own history and. We have uh, our chance. You've created quite a history in the last 10 years. Could you have ever imagined it would have worked out the way that it has? No, and I couldn't. And of course, I regret a lot of finals that, uh, <laughs> that I've been part of it and I lost. And that hurts me a lot because uh, I think we have been uh, in quite a few and, and we, we didn't win, which it hurts because you, you arrive up to the end and then uh, you get disappointed, but also we have won uh, some trophies. Uh, we want to win more. We have uh, exciting months ahead of us. Uh, as you said, we are in five competitions in February, which is not easy, and we have a fantastic group. And, and now we, we is the moment to take it, and I think we are, uh, we are all ready for it. I know how modest you are, but this week you could complete the Trophy Grand Slam. Uh, that would be something pretty special, wouldn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, uh, you know, when I arrived, I couldn't imagine uh, to be to be here today, and you know, to to have this chance is amazing. Uh, we know that uh, in every competition we go, we want to to fight for it and, and win it. Uh, that's the the mentality from Chelsea to go all the way in every competition, and to create that history and and to win this trophy. Of course, it means a lot uh, for the whole group, for me personally. And we have to be ready because it goes really quick and, and it's, a, it's, it's a short tournament where we have to be at our best. I know we've spoken before about the pride you have in being the captain of this football club, but you seem to really be relishing that role at the moment, especially with this group. Well, it's, it's, uh, I feel really proud and, and grateful to have the opportunity to be the captain of this football club, not only uh, with, the, with the work that we, go, that we do on the pitch, but obviously to lead the team and and being a part of, uh, of such an amazing group and you know winning trophies and uh, competing every game is, is um, I'm really grateful for that but also for the, the work that uh, this football club does off the pitch uh, to be part of it I learned so much I, um, you know when I arrived here in 2012 I you know I, I couldn't imagine that I could become a Chelsea captain and I try to improve, uh, you know, I think uh, you have to be open, you have to learn. Uh, you can learn until your last day of, uh, of your career, uh, you know, on and off the pitch. I had the chance to share a dressing room with a lot of great personalities, captains with armband, without armband. And, and I think with my own uh, personality, my own way of seeing football and seeing life, I try to develop and put everything uh, into, the, into my team, into my club. And, and at the end of the day is what they want, win trophies and, and keep uh, creating history for this club. It seems crazy that it's nearly 10 years since me and you sat down for that first interview and you walked in the door. I think you've aged a bit better than me, though. <laughs> no, I don't think so, but it was, yeah, you know, I remember very well. <laughs> My English was not uh, very good. Uh, 
You know, I, I was not a big sign-in, you know, I have to be honest. I arrived, I knew that I had to work my way into the first team. Uh, you know, my first game with Chelsea was, uh, I remember, in the in the academy pitch against Charlton, a friendly game. So, that's how, how it went and, you know, I, I always have, uh, have had the, the confidence from the club. I had the belief and the confidence uh, from myself that I could make it. I knew that I had to work hard. That, was not uh, granted that I knew how difficult it is to, to play for Chelsea and step by step I never thought uh, farther than than the day that I was uh, coming for training, improving, being happy, I really enjoy and that's I think the most important thing. Finally, it's strange isn't it being here in Abu Dhabi without the boss, we hope Thomas gets obviously well very soon. Does that change your role as captain when the manager isn't here with us? Well, of course, we are uh, disappointed that Thomas cannot be here. Uh, of course, he's uh, our manager, he's the one that uh, leads us. And, and of course, uh, my role uh, has to change because uh, everybody, we need to step up. We need to to make uh, the most of the situation is what it is, is the reality. We cannot change it. Uh, change it. Uh, of course, uh, uh, Thomas will, will have a big impact uh, from, from London uh, into, the, into the camp and the games, but uh, we have our uh, coaching staff, we have uh, every player we need to, 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 to step up and, and fill that gap even though it's impossible to fill it but uh, we, we are where we are and we cannot change it so I think everybody we need to, to step up to take more responsibilities and hopefully to, to bring uh, the trophy to the boss.